Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings to improve your gaming performance in GeForce Now in 2024. Make sure to watch this video till the end, do not skip around any step and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, first things first is getting hands on GeForce Now and you can get it from the official GeForce website. Now what you have to do is simply search for GeForce Now on your PC, click on this right arrow and then open up the file location. Then you have to go and open up the file location once again and once you are in the folder of GeForce Now, you'll find geforcenow.json. This is a really important file and this is how GeForce Now actually works on your PC. Simply right click on this, go over to open and it will open up this thing in notepad. Now what you are doing over here is the NVGFN accelerator. It is by default set to 11. Now if you are facing high FPS issues and input latency, you can always set this thing to 10 but I highly recommend you guys to keep it 11. Then, what's most important part over here is the DEF window size that you have to set 1 280x720. This is really important, so I highly recommend you guys to set these values because this is the HD value for gaming. Then, what you have to do is scroll all the way down until you find the IOHID configurable. You have to set this thing to true and the HIDPI, you have to set this thing to true as well. Once you're done applying all of these settings, simply press Ctrl and S key and then you have to close this file. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Nextly, you have to open up GeForce Now. So simply open this thing up. Now once it opens up, you have to go down to these three arrows and then click on settings. Once you are here, you have to scroll a little bit down until you find the streaming quality. Set this thing to custom. But if you are not in any server location, you have to set this thing to competitive and it will do the same task. However, I'd recommend you guys to set this thing to custom and run a speed test on your PC. Simply open up the speed test application or you can always go to the speedtest.org website or speedtest.net and simply do a speed test. Now as you guys can see my upload speed is around 336.81 and this is our area of concern. You have to shift this decimal to the left hand side and you will find that my bitrate comes down to 33.6. So what you can do is simply set your max bitrate to 33. Just round this thing off and then your resolution is the one that you have set in the files. Then your frame rate should be set to 60 FPS and then the VSync should be set to adaptive. This is most important part because adaptive VSync is the best for reducing input latency in GeForce now. Then you have reflex and HDR, simply turn this thing off and adjust for poor network connection should always be turned on. This is the most important part. Now you will also find direct mouse input. You have to turn this thing on and resolution upscaling should be set to enhanced and detail enhancement should be set to low. Once it is done, you have to scroll down and set both of these options to off. Once all of these settings are done, you can close GeForce now. Now let's move to the next step that is Fireball. This plays a very important role while consuming internet in GeForce Now. So for that you need to simply search for Firewall and you'll find Firewall and Network Protection. Simply go over here and then allow an app through Firewall. Now this window will open up, you have to click on the change settings button and then you have to click on allow another app. Then you have to click on browse button and then go over to the installation location of GeForce Now. Now once you're over here, you have to click on geforcenow.exe, simply click on OK and then click on add. It's already added for me, so I have to click on the browse button once again and then add the streamer.exe over here once again and then simply click on add. That is added as well. Simply go over to the browse button and add the montage.exe as well. Simply click on add and that is also added on the list. Now what you have to do is simply search for GeForce Now. 
Now right over here is my GeForce Now Montage. Now make sure you have the tick mark on both private and public sector. Then you have to do the same for GeForce Now. Once it is done, you can simply close this point and then close the settings. Now next step is creating a restore point and this is also really important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then you have to scroll down until you find local disk C. Click on create and name it something that you can remember it from. GeForce now sounds best for me. Simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back without any data loss. Next step is the input delay fix pack for 2024. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can also join my discord server for downloading this fps pack now right over here you'll find in three simple folders the first one is batch optimization in, in which i have left a ton of command prompts you can simply right click and run this thing as administrator and it will clean your dns cache then you have to clean the log files simply run this as administrator once again and it will start deleting all of the unnecessary log files which are creating bugs and more performance issues on your pc this will help you to significantly improve your input delay as well as the performance of your PC. Next is the clean temporary files. You have to right click and run this as administrator and it will delete all of the temporary files on your PC which are not really usable and it's just cache so you don't have to worry about anything. Next is the disable HPET. HPET stands for high precision event timer which is also a system component and you need to disable this thing to get rid of the input latency. You have to right click on this, run this as administrator and it will start disabling the dynamic tick and HPET as well on your PC. Now I've already disabled HPET so it gave me an error because it's already turned off. Last is the input delay fix batch. I've already run this on my PC but this consists a lot of commands which you do not have to type in manually. It will automatically do it and it will also fix a lot of your input latency. Next is the keyboard latency fix and for this you need to leave your keyboard specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one you have to choose from. I've also left a default keyboard buffer in case you don't like it and you want to restore it back to default. Next is the mouse latency registries and in here you'll find in two things. First is the pointer precision and second one is the mouse delay. Now everyone you have to run the mouse delay but for pointer precision I highly recommend you guys for users who play GeForce now on laptop or trackpad do not do this unless you have an external mouse because it will make your trackpad extremely slow. Just in case you have done it you can simply search for mouse settings and once you're over here you have to go to advanced mouse settings and then you have to go to pointer options and enable pointer precision from here. Once it is done, you can close this and now you can drop into GeForce now with the best settings applied. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out growing the channel. Also, if you're not a member yet, you can always join my membership because members get a perk of getting the access to every single videos in priority. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.